Ms. Crouch, on the topic of uh, corporate welfare, you said that legislators need to look at these deals on a sort of case-by-case -case basis and decide whether they're good investments. Um, is $220 million for Sikorsky a good investment? And for that matter, is $22 million for the Bridgewater Hedge Fund a good investment for the state of Connecticut? Unfortunately, we have backed ourselves in a corner with bad fiscal policy that now we have to go out and bribe businesses to stay. I don't want one person to lose a job. So, but I like to say it's not Sikorsky. Sikorsky was a Connecticut company. It's Lockheed. So they're not Connecticut. So even that mindset that they're Connecticut, we need to look at and examine our overall policy. So whereas we may have had to do the deal with Sikorsky, Lockheed, what we need to do is figure out why we were $400 million more expensive than South Carolina. That is what will long-term work. And who then decides, other than the governor and the legislature, who's a good investment and who's not? There are small companies in Norwich that employed 20, 30 people that didn't get corporate welfare, that didn't get a deal, that weren't part of the first five. So I think that we need to work on lowering the cost of doing business in Connecticut. And Senator Austin, and get 90 seconds. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, many small businesses in Norwich have uh, benefited from the Small Business Express program. That's just a fact. Uh, my colleagues should visit New England Glass or ACL Linen and talk to them about the benefits that they've gotten in the industrial park in Norwich. Uh, quite frankly, Sikorsky was a good deal. And if it is Connecticut's fiscal policies, then it must be also Florida's fiscal policies, South Carolina's fiscal policies, and Texas fiscal policies, because all of them tried to buy Sikorsky to come into their particular states. All three of them provide uh, tax abatements, such as what we have done for their, for their larger business. And if we're talking about the first five, Jackson Labs has brought in many bioscience patents into this area and had, has had many spin-offs uh, as a direct result of the investment in that uh, industry. And we are seeing a rise in both uh, New Haven and Hartford in uh, bioscience. So I think that those are good investments, and I think sometimes you have to make investments. And, and uh, you get another 30 seconds, but I was hoping you might uh, clarify in your final comments whether you have, would have voted, it sounds like you would have, but I want to be clear, would you have voted for that deal if you had been in the legislature? Um, as a Southerner and a Catholic, I love stories. So uh, a legislator told me he felt like he was on Shark Tank with a gun to his head. So yes, I would have. I, I couldn't have looked at those families and allowed those jobs to go. But once again, we can say that. Lockheed said we were $400 million more expensive than South Carolina. So regardless of their abatements, that was what they released and what they said. So if that wasn't true, then what else did they say that may not have been true? All right. Thank you. Uh, next question is to Senator Austin. Uh, 